The John Ford Podcast. Milking our bandwidth for all it's worth. John Ford. Radio. And thanks for joining us for the John Ford Podcast, the evening ranker with your host, John Ford. Uh, as I've mentioned before, this is basically just an excuse. Uh, it's a place where I can shoot off my big mouth. Because after being paid years and years and years, decades even, for shooting off my big mouth on uh, multi million dollar broadcast facilities and abusing those facilities and even getting paid for it, I sometimes miss that. So I do this now. Yeah, it's a little diversion in the middle of the day for me so that I can shoot off my big mouth. Shut up! One thing I'd like to shoot off my big mouth about today is the plastic bag ban. Now, do you have one of those where you live? Because if you don't, you probably will soon. Oh, yeah. This is where they ban plastic bags. So if you go to the grocery store, I'm always amazed when I go somewhere where they don't have this now and they give me a plastic bag. It's like, wow, I feel like so lucky I'm getting a plastic bag. But here in Austin, Texas, they did uh, away with plastic bags a few years ago. Uh Uh-oh. But then the Texas legislature last uh, year, six months ago, something came out and said, Now just hold on a minute there, son. I'm telling you, I tell you what, you can't be banning them plastic bags because it goes against law number 578-76 subsection of whatever it was. So now we no longer have the plastic bag, but still none of the grocery stores carry them. Wow. The plastic bag ban really gets on my nerves. And it's not because, you know, I want to nuke the whales or I'm anti-environmentalist or anything like that. The reason it gets on my nerves is because it's like so many environmental things, you can't see the forest for the trees. Now, just stick with me a second. No. When they first did the plastic bag ban here in Austin, Texas, I did a little research into it. What I was able to find is that the banning of the plastic bags was not because the bags were, you know, inherently bad for the environment. Well, they are plastic. They're made from petroleum distillates. They're the best thing for the environment. But we can, you know, recycle other plastic things. I thought, why can't they just recycle the plastic bags? And it's not like you see plastic bags everywhere on the side of the road. It's not like Asia, where all this stuff washes up on the beach in Australia because the Asians just keep throwing the crap in the water. I was After doing some research, I came to the realization that the reason they banned plastic bags here in Austin and that the reason they couldn't recycle them is because the city council, from what I understood, in their infinite wisdom, but, but, but. had a contract with a recycler that couldn't handle the plastic bags. It's not that the plastic bags themselves could not be recyclers. The recycler that they had the contract with couldn't deal with the plastic bags, and they would gummed up the gears in the recycling unit. From what I understand, it was really the problem of the city council that they had signed a bad contract. It wasn't that the bags couldn't be recycled. It's that the bags would gum up the works so that everybody else had to suffer for them screwing up. And as opposed to, you know, admitting that the the government was at fault. Oh, God, we can't do that. Hey, just say, let's just ban the plastic bags. But of course, as I mentioned, the Texas government said, can't do that, son. (laughs) Oh, no, we can't do that. And taking the plastic bag ban even further... Uh, I live in the liberal enclave of Austin, Texas, which is fine. You know, and I I like the concept that everybody, you know, is kind of liberal minded. I mean, I consider myself a classic liberal and that I'm uh, for liberty and individual rights. I'm not part of the far left, which, you know, shuns liberal values as far as I'm concerned. For example, I shop at uh, Central Market, although it kind of sounds odd, is the local version of Whole Foods. Even though Whole Foods started in Austin, Texas, it's a local thing. It's grown so large it doesn't feel local anymore. But Central Market is sort of um, the Texas version of Whole Foods, if any of that makes any sense. No. So I go there uh, because it's close. I could even walk there if I wanted to. But when you go into Central Market, they have this amazing, much better than, than Whole Foods, this amazing section for produce. Amazing section for produce. But the thing is... You have to weigh your produce and then print out a little sticker. Like, weigh your produce, put in a code, and then it tells you how much that produce costs, and then you stick it on the produce. Now, of course, you can't stick it directly on the produce. You've got to stick it on a plastic bag. So if you're buying, let's say, 
five, ten, fifteen pieces of produce, all different types of produce, which many people do, you're ending up printing fifteen stickers for fifteen plastic bags. So before you've even checked out, you've got fifteen plastic bags. So these people that you know, and of course there are a lot of granola crunchers go to Central Market as they do to Whole Foods. I'm going here because it's organic. And I'm going to save the planet. I'm a granola cruncher. They're walking out the door. No plastic bags to put your stuff in. They'll give you a paper bag, but you're supposed to bring your own bag, you know, y'all bag. <laughs> but you're walking out the door. If you got 15 pieces of produce, one cucumber, three apples, whatever, you know, that you've weighed out individually, it's 15 ba- there's 15 plastic bags in there. So this is this was never outlawed. You could have all these individual plastic bags. You couldn't get that one plastic bag you needed as you went out the door, but you could put 15 plastic bags with 15 different kinds of produce, or 100, whatever you know, kind of produce you're getting. The story of the organic thing, and I think you get this from being in Texas. You say hi to people. You have conversations with people, the checkout girl, the checkout guy, whatever. How you doing today? All that kind of stuff. So I'm walking by, and Central Market also has this great meat, you know, if you like if you're a carnivore like Jordan Peterson and you want to, you know, chew on some meat, they have a great meat section. So anyways, I'm walking by this girl and this guy and, you know, I'm looking in the meat case and they're looking at the bacon. And I said, oh, hey, by the way, uh, hi, you know, I'm, I'm talking to them, you know, which at first they must have been from California because when I first started talking to them, they were like, what is this person doing? Why is this person talking to us? This is an older guy. We're 20 somethings. Why is he saying anything to us? So anyways, I said, hey, by the way, it's like Southern Food Week here at Central Market because they do all these different things like, you know, so they did British Food Week a couple of weeks ago. They have the most amazing bacon. It's the best bacon I've ever had over in the deli area. And it's country ham bacon. Now, I grew up, my family on my mother's side was from Kentucky and you know, country ham was a big thing. But they have this bacon over there. Let me tell you about this bacon, guys. It is the most amazing bacon I've ever had in my entire life. It's called Benton's Smoked Country Ham Bacon. Hickory Smoked Country Bacon by Benton's Hams. And I think these guys are out of North Carolina. I said, if you really want some good bacon, go over there and buy it. It's not cheap, but man, it is amazing. It is the best bacon I've ever eaten in my entire life. I'm telling them this. And the guy and the girl looking at each other, you know, and they have that look on their face like, why is he talking to me? The girl looks at me and says, <laughs> but is it organic? I'm flabbergasted. Ah, uh, I pause for a moment and say, well, I don't know if it's organic, but it's 100% from a pig. You know, pigs that wallow around in their own feces and mud, and muck, and will eat anything that you give them. And she's worried. You're worried about it being organic? Organic bacon? But is it organic? It's bacon. It's fat. It's the worst thing in the world for you. And you're worried about it. I'm sorry. I just walked away. I said, on my way out. (laughs) What? It's good bacon. You should go check it out. And they continued looking in the deli case for their organic bacon which I'm sure they were going to put in separate plastic bags and waltz out the store thinking that they had saved the universe. I'm the happiest guy. He's the luckiest guy. Cause I just bought a new Ford. From a wonderful dealer. Wow, what a dealer. For a Ford or a fine used car. Oh, Kimmy. Uh, yes, Piggy? You haven't forgotten that you promised to take me to dinner tonight. Uh, uh, no, I remember. I'll be wearing red, the color of passion. Uh, I'll, I'll stick with green, uh, the color of envy. Envy? Uh, well, I'm envious of anyone not having dinner with you. The John Ford Podcast.